SpaceX and the U.S. Space Force thought they were ready to launch the military's mysterious X-37B space plane this week, but ground teams in Florida need to roll the Falcon Heavy rocket back into its hangar for servicing. This is expected to push back the launch until at least late December, perhaps longer. SpaceX and Space Force officials have not divulged details about the problems causing the delay. SpaceX called off a launch attempt Monday night at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida to resolve a problem with a ground system. In this mind-blowing insider scoop, we delve into the latest hiccups holding SpaceX's Falcon Heavy back. Tune in for all the high-octane drama as the highly anticipated X-37B mission experiences an unforeseen technical setback that delimits its launch indefinitely. Unravel the mysteries as we expose the trials and tribulations amidst the race to the cosmos. Brace yourselves, space enthusiasts, for an enthralling roller coaster ride filled with thrills, suspense, and silver linings waiting to be discovered. Join us in this breathtaking odyssey where destiny inches forward but an obstacle looms large. Catch all the celestial buzz now and experience the captivating tale of the X 37B mission. Find out everything about this and more in today's episode. Hello, everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. St a senior Space Force official told on Wednesday that additional issues will cause an additional delay in the launch. We're working through a couple of technical glitches with our SpaceX team that just are going to take a little bit more time to work through, said Colonel James Horn, Deputy Director of the Space Force's Assured Access to Space Directorate. We haven't nailed down a specific launch date yet, but we're going to have to roll back into the horizontal integration facility and work through some things on the rocket. Horn, a senior leader on the Space Force team overseeing military launches like this one, said the ground equipment problem that prevented liftoff Monday night could be fixed as soon as Wednesday. But it will take longer to resolve other issues he declined to specify. We found some things that we need to run some analysis on, so that's what's driving the delay, he said. SpaceX was similarly vague in its explanation for the delay. In a post on the social media platform X, SpaceX said the company was standing down from the launch this week to perform additional system checkouts. There's a chance the Falcon Heavy might be back on the launch pad by the end of December or early next year. A SpaceX recovery vessel that was on station for the Falcon Heavy launch in the Atlantic Ocean is returning to shore, suggesting the launch won't happen anytime soon. We've got to look at the schedule and balance that with all the other challenges, Horn said. But I hope we can get it off before the end of the year. In this upcoming launch, Falcon Heavy will possibly be launching X-37B farther into space than it has ever flown before. While the operational capabilities of the spacecraft remain shrouded in secrecy, the objectives for USSF-52 mission appear ambitious. The release from the Space Forces hinted at X-37B venturing into new orbital regimes. Turns out, the fourth time, and also not the charm. SpaceX had been hoping to launch its powerful Falcon Heavy rocket carrying an uncrewed space plane for the U.S. Space Force on Sunday. But poor weather conditions at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida forced it to shift the targeted date to Monday. Then on Monday, as the evening launch window approached, SpaceX said it was standing down due to a side issue on the ground and would instead target Tuesday night. But early on Tuesday afternoon, the commercial space flight company announced it would not be launching later in the day and is now targeting Wednesday saying only that the extra time will allow teams to complete system checkouts ahead of liftoff. However, so far there is no launch. SpaceX's much-awaited mission to send the USS F-52 payload into orbit aboard its powerful Falcon Heavy launcher has officially encountered an indefinite delay. Yesterday, SpaceX personnel at LC-39A prepared Falcon Heavy for a rollback into its hangar. Officials hope to launch before the end of the year, but a longer delay is possible. The important thing is that in addition to unfavorable weather as before, the California-based aerospace manufacturer has paused the launch for additional technical evaluation following undisclosed ground side issues. The advanced Boeing X-37B space plane set for deployment on this mission remains in healthy condition as engineers assess the next viable launch window. We're working through a couple of technical glitches with our SpaceX team that are just going to take a little bit more time to work through. At Colonel James Horn, Deputy Director of the Space Force's Assured Access to Space Directorate. We haven't nailed down a specific launch date yet, but we're going to have to roll back into the IHF or the Horizontal Integration Facility and work through some things on the rocket. Horn, a senior official within the Space Force team responsible for overseeing military launches such as the one in question, stated that the ground equipment issue hindering liftoff on Monday night could potentially be addressed by Wednesday. However, he noted that additional undisclosed issues would require more time for resolution. 
we found some things we need to run some analysis on, so that's what's driving the delay, he said. SpaceX was similarly vague in its explanation for the delay. In a post on the social media platform X, SpaceX said the company was standing down from the launch this week to perform additional system checkouts. There's a chance the Falcon Heavy might be back on the launch pad by the end of December or early next year. A SpaceX recovery vessel that was on station for the Falcon Heavy launch in the Atlantic Ocean is returning to shore, suggesting the launch won't happen anytime soon. We've got to look at the schedule and balance that with all the other challenges, Horn said, but I hope we can get it off before the end of the year. The delay in launching the USS F-52 comes after fluctuations in weather forecasting and previous postponements. The critical nature of the payload and unmanned Boeing made X-37B spaceplane requires optimal conditions for a successful launch and mission. This spaceplane, earmarked for top-secret explorative tasks, stands as a testament to the cutting-edge collaborative efforts between the aerospace industry and the U.S. Space Force. As stakeholders and space enthusiasts await a new launch date, the significance of the mission remains undiminished. With the understanding that such complex endeavors require prudence over haste. When it's ready to fly, the Falcon Heavy launch with the military's X-37B spaceplane will likely get high priority on SpaceX's launch schedule. The military's launch ranges, like the one at Cape Canaveral, are primarily there to serve national security requirements, even though they get a lot more use from commercial space missions. It's not clear how long the plane will stay in orbit, but its longest mission to date, which ended in November of 2022, lasted 908 days before the aircraft returned to U.S. soil. That's nearly three years. The X-37B vehicle looks similar to NASA's now decommissioned space shuttle but is about a quarter of the length at 29 feet or 8.8 .8 meters, and like the space shuttle, it also makes a runway landing at the end of a mission, though in this case using autonomous systems. When the Falcon Heavy does get off the ground, it will mark the rocket's eighth flight since its debut mission in 2018 and the first since October when it deployed NASA's Psyche spacecraft to study a metal asteroid located between Mars and Jupiter. With its three boosters generating about 5.5 million pounds of thrust, the Falcon Heavy promises to put on a spectacular show when its engines fire up, hopefully in the coming days. Also attending the site in person or watching the live stream can also witness the return of the rocket's two side boosters, which will make an upright landing at the launch site in a few minutes after launch. Next, putting the delays aside, there is good news. Axiom Space is gearing up for its third private astronaut mission to the International Space Station in less than a month. At a December 13 online briefing, Axiom Space, NASA and SpaceX said they were preparing for a January 9 launch of the AX-3 mission, using a Crew Dragon spacecraft on a Falcon 9. Liftoff is scheduled for 8.18 p.m. Eastern that day with a docking with the ISS at about 5.15 a.m. Eastern January 11. The launch will use the same Crew Dragon spacecraft and Falcon 9 booster as the AX-2 mission in May, said Sarah Walker, Director of Dragon Mission Management at SpaceX. Both vehicles are on track with margin to support the AX-3 launch in early January, she said. Missing from the announcement though was where the launch would take place. All previous Crew Dragon missions have used Launch Complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center, but SpaceX has been building a tower at nearby Space Launch Complex 40, at Cape Canaveral Space. Four station to support cargo and crew launches. There had been reports in November that SpaceX would use SLC-40 for the AX-3 mission to avoid a scheduling conflict with another launch at LC-39A. Walker said that a decision on which pad to use for AX-3 is still pending. We are nearing completion with preparations of SLC-40 to support Dragon missions, if needed, she said. That includes completion of the interior of the crew access arm and final external approvals from regulatory agencies. A launch from LC-39A though on the current schedule would clash with another Falcon 9 schedule to launch from the pad as soon as January 12, carrying the intuitive machine's I.M.1 lunar lander. That mission must launch from LC-39A since only that pad is equipped to fuel the lander shortly before launch. Intuitive machines confirmed a January 12 launch date back in a statement on December 4 announcing the arrival of the lander at Cape Canaveral for pre-launch processing. That mission has a launch period that runs through January 16. LC-39A announced plans last year to build a tower at SLC-40 to serve as a backup for LC-39A in the event a launch accident took the pad out of service. The company has more recently emphasized the flexibility that comes from having two pads that can handle Dragon missions. We're super excited to have this flexibility and we did it because we're seeing the growing demand for Dragon missions, Walker said.
she noted that LC-39A would remain the priority pad for Dragon launches. But having the second pad available enables us to be ultra-responsive to customer needs and growing demand by moving a Dragon over to SLC-40 when the need arises. AX-3 is slated to be a 14-day mission commanded by Axiom's Chief Astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria, a former NASA astronaut who also commanded the AX-1 mission back in April of 2022. The four are scheduled to perform more than 30 experiments during the flight along with outreach activities. We had more research than we could fit into a mission, which I think is a great example of how much demand there is for that kind of work, said Matt Omler, president of Axiom Space. AX-3 is the third in a series of private astronaut missions to the ISS with a fourth, AX-4, planned for later in 2024. Axiom is also using the missions to gain experience ahead of the launch of a series of commercial modules it will attach to the ISS. Those modules will later form the core of a standalone Axiom space station after the retirement of the ISS. Omler said in the briefing that the first of those modules is now scheduled to launch to the ISS at the end of 2026, about a year later than the company previously announced. The Intuitive Machines mission, named IM-1, is scheduled to launch during a narrow window from January 12th to 16th. A few days earlier, as soon as January 8th, another commercial lunar lander from Astrobotic is scheduled for liftoff from Cape Canaveral. On the first test flight of United Launch Alliance's new Vulcan rocket, the Astrobotic and Intuitive Machines missions can only launch a few days each month due to limitations imposed by orbital mechanics and lighting conditions at their landing sites. SpaceX Peregrine Lander was previously supposed to launch on December 24, but will have pushed back the launch to perform more testing. On the Vulcan rocket, the landers from Astrobotic and Intuitive Machines are both at Cape Canaveral, waiting for their turn in the Florida Spaceport's busy launch manifest. The IM-1 mission has to depart Earth from Launch Complex 39A, the same site previously used by the Saturn V rocket and space shuttle. SpaceX has outfitted the pad to top off the Intuitive Machines lander, with cryogenic propellant just before launch, a capability unavailable at SpaceX's other launch pad in Florida. Likewise, LC-39A is the only launch pad capable of supporting Falcon Heavy missions. It usually takes a couple of weeks to reconfigure LC-39A between Falcon Heavy and Falcon 9 launches. The Falcon Heavy is significantly more powerful, with three Falcon 9 first-stage boosters connected together to haul more massive payloads into orbit. A private astronaut mission managed by Axiom Space is also in the mix, with a launch date set for January 9th. This mission, known as Axiom 3, will carry four commercial astronauts aboard a Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon spacecraft. On a roughly two-week flight to the International Space Station, Sarah Walker, director of Dragon Mission Management at SpaceX, said the company hasn't decided which pad X-3 will launch from. All of SpaceX's crew missions to date have lifted off from LC-39A, but the company recently constructed a crew access tower, an arm to enable astronaut flights, to depart from nearby Space Launch Complex 40. This gives SpaceX some flexibility to alleviate launch bottlenecks at LC-39A, which is required for some of the company's most important missions. LC-39A will remain the primary launch pad for SpaceX's crew missions, Walker said Wednesday, but she added. Having the second pad available enables us to be ultra-responsive to customer needs and growing demand by moving a Dragon over to SLC-40 when the need arises. It's a good problem to have so many interesting payloads buying for a launch, slot with SpaceX. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date, you can become an exclusive member. So click on our perks through the link in the description below. Thanks to watching and see you next time. By the way, are you familiar Talk Talk Philippines app? Talk Talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door. For more information, download the TalkTalk Talk app, here down below.